How's it going guys? The Far Cry 5 trailer has just released. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown for you. Uh, so as we know it's set in Montana. Obviously from what I've seen of it so far and from what I speculate it's, it's a religious cult kind of thing going on. Uh, actually I'll just pause it here. So obviously <coughs> here we have obviously some indigenous wildlife. <laughs> we know what we're going to be expecting. A load of buffalo, bears, cows, dogs, lynxes probably Mount, uh, the mountain cats in Montana we would get a variety of um, sort of western animals eagles that kind of thing a lot of wildlife so that's going to be pretty cool um, <clears throat> so when's the thing so here we are there's a baseball uh, ground uh, with a classic slam uh, classic rocket. So I'm guessing this might be uh, the radio station that you might hear throughout the game uh, as you drive around. There might be a radio station where you can listen to mu just music, or there might be a cult radio, resistance radio, that kind of thing. Uh, obviously, different regions that you unlock and stuff might have different radio stations. I don't know if it's possible to actually play uh, baseball, but we'll find out. Uh, Cougars, Hope County Cougars, that's the place, Hope County. So immediately we have, if we go back, I believe we can see the symbol on the side. Yeah, it's the cross. So obviously these guys are the antagonists, henchmen, the religious fanatics, and very in similar Far Cry uh, style, they're uh, SUVs with uh, mounted guns on top that will patrol the area very similar to the previous Far Cry's like Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 uh, and they'll attack the protagonists as they see you and then you can take them out and take their vehicles that kind of thing so pretty standard stuff that we've seen before in a Far Cry game uh, obviously I think the back one obviously is just carrying troops so Falls End I'm pretty sure this is uh, a different place possibly a different town within Hope County Obviously, different towns spread around will have different objectives, different things to do, different quests, and have different allegiances, I'd assume. Um, so here we have... Uh, it looks more like... I'm hoping that the uh, villages and towns and stuff are, are going to be a bit more alive. People doing things like this guy, a Falls End general store. This guy could possibly be part of the... Um, what do you call it, part of the religious fanatics, or maybe he's someone that works with the player that you can buy sort of weapons and supplies from, perhaps. He might be a key character that is named, or he could just be an NPC. We won't, we won't know until we get our hands on the game. But there's a dog at the, on the left of him, on the right of him, sorry, our left, and he could be, it could be the possibility of having your own dog, perhaps, maybe a companion, animal companion, similar to what we saw in Primal. Um, I believe that is Nick, I believe. Nick, one of the guys that it will be a character, a uh, resistance fighter uh, that will give you quests and po possibly fight alongside you if it's a co-op character as well. As you can see, he's looking at the religious fanatics coming in too. If it's not Nick, it looks very similar to him. Uh, housing, guy doing fishing. This. Uh, this guy doing fishing leads me to believe. I wonder if that canoe is pilotable as well. Kayak or canoe? Ka kayak, I think that is, or ca canoe. Oh, fuck it. Whatever it is, I wonder if that's pilotable. I wonder if you can fish. If there's a fishing mini game, that'll be pretty cool. Collect fish, maybe sell them, or maybe you have to survive on it. Who knows? But obviously, this ties into the fact that NPCs will be doing daily routines, things like that. It'd be interesting to see if they could be like fanatics that are just on their day off. So when you walk towards them, they might be friend or foe and like might pull a gun on you or something like that if they recognize the player. That'd be interesting. Um, have we here, I think, I think this is a female character. I'm not sure if, the, I don't think it is because the woman at the bar is blonde. I can't remember her name actually. Um, but we have her hunting an elk or a deer. Something like that, so uh, hunting is going to be a thing. You're going to be skinning animals to get probably more equipment, that kind of thing. So here we have the religious fanatics. I'm 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 assuming that the churches 
are either going to be places they take over and you have to liberate in order to open up different regions or different skill trees and stuff like that, different equipment, similar to the radio towers or radio towers could make a return, I'm not quite sure. But it looks like these ones are going in to the, this one, this is past, uh, uh, oh, I literally just read these a second ago. I do apologize, but uh, I keep forgetting the names. Um, but yeah, here's the pastor, another point member of the resistance. He's wearing his flat jacket there that we'll see in his uh, trailer in a minute. And then we, obviously these guys are threatening him. So this could be part of the mission. The protagonist could already be inside and these guys are threatening him and then you kill them. Uh, who knows? So yeah, obviously the religious are attacking them and scaring the populace. Um, these could be like side missions, people that you can rescue. Uh, in order to gain followers or add XP, that kind of thing. Uh, this guy looks like he's going to get topped. And then this woman here is being drowned, possibly like a witchcraft kind of thing going on. But obviously, I think these are going to be little side popping up quests that you see as you're driving around. And you can rescue people, gain XP. Or it could be tied to the story. Here we have the, the religious symbol in field on fire whether or not that's been fired by the protagonist who knows but here we have a overview of hope county uh, with the patrols going through it uh, tractor on the right more cows and stuff hopefully the tractor's a pilotable vehicle helicopters um there hasn't been pilotable helicopters i don't think in the games Apart from the gyrocopter. The gyrocopter, but not fully fledged um, helicopters. Uh, this looks like um, something you'll see on the side of the roads as well. You've got gluttony on uh, on the side, obviously one of, the, on one of the sins. And a guy that looks a little bit overweight with the uh, symbol stabbed through him. So this could be a direct reference to the gluttony thing. These could be things you find in the world, random encounters, like I said previously. Okay, so here we have one of the... Oh, I can never... See, when it comes to the trailers, I'll get their names up. But the female resistance fighter that could either be a co-op player or just someone that gives you quests. She owns a bar, it looks like, and it looks like a place that you'll probably get quests from to advance the story. Then we have Nick, I'm pretty sure that is Nick, that's his that's his plane. Uh, that will be introduced in a later trailer I'll go into. Um, I believe this plane going across is, I could be wrong because you don't really get to see a good shot of it. It could be a P-51 Mustang, World War II plane or some sort of stunt plane or something like that. But be interesting to see if there's World War II planes inside in the game to pilot and maybe air combat might be a thing. Uh, here we have the pastor again. Uh, obviously, this probably has taken place either after those guys have come or a later mission where he's probably talking to the protagonist or it's just rendered just for the trailer. And then we have greed on this guy. Whether or not he's doing that because he is, this guy is like obviously covered in a lot of scars, scarifications of different things like you see wrath. Uh, I think there's greed I can't make out what's on his chest only something and can judge me only God Joseph something along those lines so there we have obviously I don't know if these guys will be people that you can kill um, in order to reduce um, influence on the populace who knows how they're going to work in so it just might be a crazy character but then again, this guy with the assault rifle looks strangely l exactly like the guy here. Whether or not it's just a different character model or same character model usage. Okay, here we have a dirt buggy thing coming down followed by a truck. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be... It's bad quality, it has to be said, even though this is meant to be 1080p. Um, either the protagonist running away from a truck or the protagonist in the truck trying to take out this buggy being like a delivery mission or something along those lines on the side quests it looks pretty cool uh here we have cattle kellett cattle company these look like religious fanatics with either the protagonist and a co-op player 
or uh, NPCs smashing through to attack the area. As you can see here, uh, looks like either an NPC or the protagonist on the back with an American flag scarf and an SMG with a what looks like a sniper rifle or assault rifle on the back. Um, now this could be easily one of the side quests, uh, take down fuel fuel trucks. Nice explosion with the ATV. The same um, woman with the f American flag um, around a, sc a scarf taking down what looks like a religious fanatic at the cattle c kettle cattle company. So it might be that the guy driving is the protagonist and this is another side character that you're taking to a complete objective and this is some sort of cutscene. And we have the plane flying, that's... That's his plane. Or this could be the protagonist using his plane. Maybe to herd cattle, perhaps. <laughs> some guy, doesn't look like a religious fanatic, looks like gen just general population person, civilian getting chased by a brown bear, or black bear, one of the two. And getting munched on. Okay, so here we see a lot of intercuts of people being dragged, shot, pulled to being drowned. And here we have another. Ah, here's a look at the either. Is this. I think this is the main antagonist here. I, I think his name's been mentioned, but I can't remember it. But there we have it. There he is. This looks like either a cutscene or something, or maybe you're sneaking around in the background somewhere and you can see this playing out. But these looks like he's, you know, talking to his followers. He's probably some crazy nut. There's always a crazy nut as an antagonist. There we have Sinner, Hope County. So the whole county's sinning. Trust, pray, obey. Spray and pray. So there we have it. There we are, Far Cry 5's trailer. Um, I will go into the additional trailers now. Uh, these are the meeting the characters um, that you'll be fighting alongside and get missions from. But yeah, it looks a pretty good game so far. I'm kind of hoping that it's the the protagonist. I think it's maybe been revealed yet, but I'm kind of hoping that the protagonist is like a traveler. Like, you know, this, it's in the age of people traveling. I know Far Cry 3 was sort of like that, but I really want maybe an English person, someone that's from a, you know, wealthy background, as well as no fucking clue. And he's been dragged in, a he or she, if you can choose, has been dragged into this situation and is now forced to fight alongside the resistance in order to take down these religious fanatics, which would be quite cool. I'm hoping there's going to be co-op, four-player co-op, perhaps. Um... But we'll soon see uh, E3 when they reveal some gameplay. Free Far Cry 5 content only with PS4. 27th of the 2nd, 2018. So that's when we'll find out at E3 what all the gameplay is about and more will be revealed. So there we have it. So I'll move on to the other trailers now.